Okay, welcome to Battle of the Bands. So this workout's gonna be with dumbbells. You don't have to have dumbbells, you don't have to have bands, you just have to have one or the other, because you can do the workout with bands or dumbbells. I'm gonna show you with a dumbbell with a band attached to it to increase the resistance. The purpose of this is if you are at home and you have only light dumbbells, you can add a band to it to create more resistance. Um, the setup of the, the band, I've looped it over the dumbbell handles <coughs> so it's easy to grasp or easier to grasp. Um, it might be a little bit fiddly, but you'll get used to it. If you wanna see a video on how to do that, just check out one of my other videos on YouTube. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is a dumbbell squat with a bent over row as a superset, and then we're gonna take the bands off and we're gonna do a reverse lunge off the step here, and then a bent over lat pullover. So it's essentially a legs and back workout, and uh, it'll take around about 25 minutes to half an hour with a little bit of me talking in between. So make sure you're warmed up before you start. Uh, make sure all the legs and joints and everything else is are warmed up. And we're gonna go straight into the dumbbell squat. We're gonna pyramid the reps up and then down again for about five sets. So if you're ready to go, stand on the, on the bands here and then grab the dumbbells in your hand. And we're gonna create resistance here on the feet. And then we're gonna do stand up just into a squat. Now to make this a little bit more taxing because it will be, well, feel easy at the beginning, squeeze the quads at the top and push the glutes in to really hit the legs. We're only gonna do 10 on the first set. Now you can use any band you want. I've got a black band here, but a red band is fine, or a purple one if you wanna add more, or a green one if you're feeling really adventurous, but I probably wouldn't try doing that if I were you. So once you've done about 10 squats, and you squeeze the quads on each one. So when I'm stood up here, I'm not just stood up, I'm actually squeezing my quads and it can be a little bit tough. Do another rep. Okay, and then we're gonna go straight into dumbbell, dumbbell row, bent over row. So we're gonna come over, gonna pull, and again, only 10. Remember to retract the lats, retract the shoulders, and squeeze through the back. Remember the band will add more tension at the top, so it should be harder to hold the contraction at the top. Okay, once you've done 10 and 10, just rest for about 10, 15 seconds or so. This will build up in intensity. And remember, my workouts are not really heavy cardio workouts. They're designed to stimulate the muscle and get the muscle growing and stimulate more hypertrophy. So we don't go for the higher end heart rate stuff. We're going for squeezing, activating the muscle. Not that there's anything wrong with high intensity cardio workouts, of course, but I generally die doing those, so I'm not gonna do them. Okay, we're gonna go again. This set, 15 reps. So, squeeze the quads, squeeze the glutes. Remember, don't come too low on the squat, because you wanna keep the tension onto the band if you can. If you go too low, the tension will go, and it'll become a little bit easier. This might look easy, but if you're squeezing your quads every time, it's gonna be really taxing onto your quads. Let's count now, what's that? See, one teen, I know, another two maybe. And this will also pull on your shoulders, so be wary of that. Okay, into rows. Got 20 coming up, this isn't gonna be hard. Another five. Oh. That might look, that's a 10 kilo dumbbell in each hand with a black resistance band, adding tons more resistance at the top. It might look easy, it's not, it's not easy. Give it a rest for a minute. So about 30 seconds going to the next. So the next set, 20 reps. Remember, you get the most out of if you can squeeze every rep, hold every rep for a little bit. That might be more difficult with the back because the pressure on your shoulders through the tension. But the idea is to overload the muscle and cause muscular failure. So if you get to 18 or so reps and you fail, that's perfectly fine. That's what we want to do. We want to get to failure. Okay. That's about 30 seconds. Let's go again. <coughs> okay. We're 
with 20 this time. Squeezing the quads each time. And the squeeze through. If you're doing this right, on your adductors as well as you're squeezing quads at the top. Another five. <laughs> Gonna shake off my arms because a little bit of tension through the shoulders. Okay, going to rows. And we're gonna go for 20 rows. Oh, then they fell over. Wow. Didn't look that difficult when I was writing it down this morning. A sip of water. Give yourself a minute's rest. Just done 40 reps. Starting to feel it in my legs and my back. So. Remember the idea of these workouts is not to overload your heart and have a heart attack, it's to overload your muscles and grow muscle. So it's okay to take a little bit more rest if you need to, to get the reps out. It's not so much about the ego, it's about accomplishing a task. Now I'm not built for endurance or speed. So I'm absolutely fine taking a little bit of rest. But I make all the justifications I can for being unfit. Okay, so we're gonna go into 15 reps now, done by squat, and then bent over row. <coughs> okay, 15 this time, squeeze the legs each time. Another five. Okay, into rows. Another five. Now I normally squat, honestly, a whole lot more than that, but that has really taken its toll on my legs. And my back from that tension is really feeling it as well. Just means you don't have to have epic weights at home. You just need to have a good way of applying that. And my heart rate monitor, which you can't see, is on 90%, so at least I'm doing some sort of cardio activity. So we've got 10 more reps of this superset, so 10 more squats, 10 more bent over rows, and then we're gonna go into reverse lunges over on the step, and a bent over lat pullover to isolate the lats. Give myself another five to 10 seconds. Okay, if you're ready to go, go. If you need to, just pause the exercise and go again. 
Okay, last set of squats. Okay. Remember, go for 10 this time. Squeeze each one. Two more. Okay, straight into bend over row. Whoa, thank God that's over. Right, on to lunges, reverse lunges, and into bent over lap pullovers. Now, I'm going to switch to another pair of dumbbells, but if you've only got one pair of dumbbells at home, you would just untie the bands here um, for quickness of demonstration. It's going to go to another pair. Now, with the reverse lunges, move that out of the way, safety first. With the reverse lunges, what we're trying to do is get the drop onto the glute, onto the quad and the hamstring. So when we're coming down, we're pausing at the floor, we're not touching the floor, pausing, driving back up, so we're activating the glute. It's a really good exercise for glutes, also quads and hamstrings, um, but it's one that activates the glutes really well. So it's gonna take 30 seconds, and we're gonna start, we're gonna go a super set again. So we're gonna do reverse lunges, 10 reps aside, which doesn't sound a lot, but it is. And then we're gonna go to bent over, lap pullovers, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Okay, so grab your dumbbells. And if you haven't got a step at home, you can just do this normally without a step is absolutely fine. Putting the step in just gives you a bit more glute activation. Okay, so start up on the step. Then I come down. Remember, drop down, pause at the bottom. So when you push up, you're having to push through, activate your glutes. Push up, foot one foot there, sort to the other foot. Down, pause, push up. We're gonna go 10 aside. Make sure you get that pause in, it's really important. Otherwise, you bounce and the glute doesn't activate as much. This is very slow, methodical exercise. We're looking to activate and make sure the muscles are working. And I lost count again. I think that's number six on there. Oh, nearly fell over. Remember, pause at the bottom. Nearly there. Last one. Okay. So then we're going to do bent over lap pullovers. My shoulder is taking a massive hit from doing those, uh, those rows of tension. I'm going to shake that off a little bit. Okay, bend over lap pullovers. We come forward here with a dumbbell and pull backwards. So if you've ever done this with a rope like that or in a dumbbell pullover like that, same exercise. But we can do it with home without a bench, without cables. So come forward here. All we're looking to do is activate the lats. So pull back and squeeze. Don't let it swing. <laughs> Hold at the top. Remember, try and activate the lats here. So don't swing with your arms. Whew. Lower back taking a bit of a hammer from those rows. Now, if you haven't got dumbbells, you could use a a band for that, all you have to do is hook a band on a door handle, pull the same way. I haven't got a door handle here, so I can't demonstrate, unfortunately, um, but it's quite easy to do, just set up a band, same movement. Give yourself 10 seconds rest. Okay, let's go again, go for the lunges first. Okay, let's go.
Here we go and get your tent. Pause at the bottom. Last one side. Okay, we're going to step off to that pullovers. This isn't a row, it's an activation of the lats. Put my best professional face on, I'm dying inside. Just want to have a little bit of water. Wow, heart rate at 91%. Don't I know it. Okay, last set coming up. Do another set of reverse lunges and then bent over lap pullovers. And that'll be it. And it definitely sounds like a, not a lot of exercises to do. But my back's definitely had a bit of a hammering. Legs feel tight, so I know I've done something. If you're doing this at home, you can obviously add more weight if you want to, or more sets, or more reps. I'm just about finished, so I'm going to do this. Okay, let's go. Reverse lunges, pause, push. Make sure you're getting that depth in. So we're really hitting the inside of the adductors and the glutes. And then many that is, a couple more. Here we go. Eight, I think. Four. Two more. Yeah. One more. Whoo. Now into that pullovers, let's go for 10. Couple more. Oh. Wow. Take a minute so I don't die. 93% on my mind zone, definitely. A decent workout that so uh, hope you also tired and felt that worked uh, let me know how you got on and uh, thanks for watching I'm gonna go and die